Thanks for coming back to the chopping block. Let's take a look at 300 Blackout Remington 120 grain OTFB. That is a nice big temporary cavity. Let's see. Well, a couple of fragments in there. Nothing in that. Melt came out here. In through there. Out the side of that last jug. Let's try it again and see if we can stop the bullet. One nine four one. through that one. There's some jacket. Oh, there's the core. Got a whole lot of uh, temporary stretch cavity here. Lots of fragments. We'll see what it looks like when I get back home. But that is, that is pretty intense. It's a fairly long neck. I'd say the neck is about four inches, give or take. A nice big temporary cavity, lots of disruption. Shed the jacket, but the core got all twisted up, but it didn't like, didn't really expand or fragment much. Not really sure what to make of that. I certainly wouldn't want to get hit by it. <laughs> so how did it do? Well, it met the most important criteria for defense ammunition by adequately penetrating and it produced some decent tissue disruption. There was a good sized temporary cavity as indicated by the high speed video and the disruption in the gel, but the neck is a little long at 3.7 inches. Overall, this does look like a good defense load and the fact that it is available for about $16 a box at Walmart helps. Thanks again for watching and as always, liking, subscribing, commenting, and sharing makes a really big difference for small channels like mine. Thank you.